Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. Today's gonna be all about mouse modifiers and MIDI editing, and we're gonna continue on our quest to make Reaper's MIDI editing more to our liking. Something I've always encouraged people to do as you learn your mouse modifiers is to open your mouse modifier window, pin it up here. I can just continue to work here, use this as my cheat sheet, and whenever I see something I don't like, I can just change it right away. And over time, you will memorize the whole thing and won't need to do this anymore. I'm not gonna show you all the mouse modifiers I know, but I'm gonna show you some of the most commonly used ones and the ones that I think are a little more useful. So by default, I can double click anywhere to create a note and double click again to erase that note. Some people don't like that behavior, so you can definitely change it. So I can go to MIDI piano roll and I can make my insert note to be just left click. And now every time I click anywhere, it's created. Then if I double click on it, it goes away. I personally like the default behavior and I have insert note set to control. If I want to create a quick melody, I can just hold control and go do deep. Boop, bop, beep. One thing you all know is that you can create a note like this. One of my favorite mouse modifiers is this, and this is shift and command. So if I select a note and go shift and command, it will split the note by grid. I can also click on this note and go command option X. I don't know if that's a default hotkey or not, and that splits them by grid. Now I have hi-hat going for one measure. Another way I can add a bunch of notes really quickly is I can hold command and option, and I can drag them out. Again, I'm gonna go really fast, and then I'll put all my mouse modifiers in the end in a list so you can have them all. So if I was in the wrong menu, sometimes uh, forgive me. So if I select any note with Alt held, it'll go to the beginning of that note, which is useful for me. Normally, if I click, it would just select a note and not move the edit cursor. And that's the behavior I like. By default, it selects notes and moves the edit cursor, but I don't do that. So if I wanna go to the beginning of a measure, I can just option click on this and it'll go here. I also like shift and option. It selects all the notes within a measure. So if I click on any note within any measure, it will select that measure. I like select note and all later notes. And that's for something like, you know, in the end, I want to have a fade out going. So I can hold command option and I'll select all the notes. And then from here, here's a bonus mouse modifier I like a lot is control is linear ramp. So it will create like a decrescendo or a crescendo. And now kind of in the end, the drum starts to get quieter as we go. I also like select note and all later notes of the same pitch. You know, if you saw that all your hi-hats are really loud, you can make them quieter if you want. So in the last episode, I showed you my hotkeys for editing velocity. But another thing you can do is you can command and hold anything and you will bring down or up its velocity and then command and control is more fine so it'll go down and up in values of one let's look at some midi lane stuff you can just draw midi if you want to find draw midi you can hold command if i draw normally it's just drawing steps if i go command it ignores snap so that's their difference so i show you how to paint notes you can also paint note this way when you have like a sub bit so i can even do something like if I want, I can select all of these and I can alt drag. They'll be really fast like that. Or I can make it bigger. So alt drag is another one. If I want to just make all of these shorter, I can shift and left drag and they'll be more legato or more staccato. Command just erases notes. So when I go command, icon changes into a ruler and then whatever I touch will be erased. So something I like doing is, for example, draw a bunch of hi-hat and then I can come and randomly erase some of them to get an interesting pattern going. Let's see how interesting this is. I don't know, not too interesting, but sometimes it works. And then let's look at scrub preview MIDI. If I'm trying to like slowly go through a note, I choose the speed. These are not custom actions. Some of them just exist and they just by default don't have anything set to them. And you can also sometimes just go to the action list and add stuff of your own. So let me quickly show you, for example, one thing I really like. MPL split selected notes to equal parts. I used to have this assigned to a hotkey, but I was like, what about a mouse mod? So I can command and double click on it and I get this menu. And now I can divide this into whatever I want. So let's divide one measure into 21 hi-hat hits. Okay, and now I can come and like erase some of these. And let's hear it now. It's just in time, but it's like not because we divided 16 into 21 sub beats. You can also create crazy polyrhythms this way. So let's do two toms. I'm going to come and double click on this. Let's split this by 14 and let's split this eight. And let's see what 14 against eight sounds like.
slightly wrong, slightly cool. I like stuff like that. Also, there's a bunch of stuff you can do in the MIDI ruler. So for example, I can select a bunch of notes. I can double click up here and it will zoom to the notes. I can just create a time selection like this and I can move it around with a shift. I can also press command and I'll just be making a fresh time selection each time. And that ignores snap or you can tie, I don't know, control to not ignoring snap. I really like these two and this is from Ableton. Loop point set start point and end point. So at any point, if I have a time selection, I can go shift an option to bring the start back and I can go shift command an option to bring the end back. So let's say I'm working on this bit and I want to work on a measure or two. I can put a shift command here, shift command option here, and I'm only working on this lick. I also have insert ghost note and that just inserts a note at a lower velocity. So that's pretty cool. And let's show you the MIDI editor right drag options. And those are pretty useful too. So obviously right dragging will select a bunch of notes. Shift right dragging will add things to it. So you can just kind of go through your project and add things to it and then make some operations to them. I really like command and option is select notes touched while dragging. So as I hold command and option and I start right clicking, whatever note I go through will be selected. Shift command and option is for hand scrolling. Control and right click deletes notes as I drag. The same option works in your MIDI lane. You will be erasing points or you can just delete the whole thing. You can click and drag really quickly. Option is really useful. It selects notes and sets the time selection. So these were a few things that I use a lot. You should definitely go through these yourself. So anyway, here's the list of all the ones that I covered. You can take a snapshot of this if you want. There are tons of actions that just aren't by default assigned to anything like delete notes and see see here wasn't or you know in midi notes by default there's no edit note velocity fine as far as i remember so there's some actions that are just waiting here begging to be added to your arsenal of moves all right that was way too much rambling and way too scattered so sorry about that but hopefully the list will clear it up so yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you tomorrow with more midi editing tutorials Bye bye